you used to watch the television show back when I was doing a TV show. Is that correct? Uh, I actually discovered you on on YouTube through a couple of friends of mine. Mm -hmm. I didn't like we didn't get your show in Austria. Right. Not that I remember. A lot mm -hmm. of people don't get it here. Um, <laughs> Did you write into the show once? Is that correct? Oh yeah, I was actually fe featured on a on a fan correction video. You were on I, my show. I do, yeah, I do believe that I was on the last fan correction video because I was procrastinating my studies and I watched a couple of your fan corrections and I was wondering if the link still works to send in corrections and it did. What was it? Yeah, what was I, it? It was about. Um, you giving liquids to baby birds. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And <laughs> Not, I'm drawing a blank here. Yes, of course. Of I don't course. know what you're that talking about. Conversation. And you, I have a content correction. <laughs> you found something wrong and so you sent in a correction. Yeah, you shouldn't feed liquids to baby birds. They will die from it. They cannot swallow right. liquids oh, yet. This happened okay. to me once when I tried to nurse a baby bird. Yeah, I called you a baby bird killer. Okay. And you said you loved me, and you, now you don't remember me, Conan. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've I've had many loves in many parts of the world. Uh, I don't remember this one fan correction, but I can look it up. Mm -hmm. But I guess we were doing something on the show, and I mentioned you can nurse a bird with uh, maybe with liquids. You said no, you can't. You wrote in. Uh, you tried to help me, and and we aired the fan correction. Yeah, you did. That's yeah. great, because we would get many submissions, mm -hmm. but only a few would be aired. So what a high honor for you. <laughs> this is a fucking crazy coincidence. Like, <laughs> Except I have something here in my notes yeah. that she was supposed to get a T-shirt, and she never got a T-shirt. Oh. Yeah, that's true. Wait, what happened? Tell me what happened. Well, when I sent in the fan correction, it said that people who get featured on the show will get the Team Coco T-shirt, and I never received one. You didn't get your T-shirt? No, I didn't. You also called me out by, by the wrong name on the show. <laughs> what did I call you on the show? Katarina? No, you called me Katarzyna Radziwanowska, which is my Polish, my Polish name, which I used for social media, but not my actual name that I used to fill out the form. Well, oh, I'm so sorry <laughs> that I used the Polish name that you used when you wrote in. How is that my fault? And now you're mad that you didn't get your t-shirt? Do you think I'm in charge of sending the t-shirts out? She was gonna be just a folk musician until that happened and then she turned yeah. to cringe music. Yeah. I'm sorry you did yeah. not get your t-shirt, but you have to understand that I am at the top of a very large pyramid. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. I am, I sit high atop a mountain and then there's millions of people that work for me. Millions. And they let you down, not me. Do you understand? Oh man, yeah, I get it. Yeah. yeah, you're no right now. Where does the buck stop? What, what I'm saying is you're you're calling up Tim Cook and saying my uh, iPhone jammed. That's unfair. Oh, no. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Don't let a po some poor random guy suffer for me. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm gonna find out who didn't sell you that T-shirt. They probably don't work for no, me anymore. Yeah, no, I'm gonna find them. No, spare and I'm gonna them, have them. No. I'm gonna have them murdered. <laughs> We'll find you a t-shirt and I will get it to you somehow, okay? Because I want to write this wrong. You should get your t-shirt. Sounds great. Thanks a lot. Yeah, <laughs> and you can wear it. You seem thrilled. You seem <laughs> so finally, over it. finally, this void in your life has been <laughs> filled. Um, well, I'm sorry that that happened. This is so nice. Yeah. This is, it's, it's, uh, I'm talking now to a fan who did something nice and wrote in and helped our show a bunch of years ago and never got their t-shirt. Mm. Was that disappointment, What is that what drove you to uh, start getting into heavy metal and then cringe blizzard? And slush metal. Yeah, yeah, and especially the slush metal. There was no other way to release my anger and disappointment. Yeah. I understand. Well, I, you know what? I've never been to Austria. Do you think I'd like Austria? I think you'd love it. I mean, you, you do like skiing, right? Yeah, I like skiing. And and riding bikes. So yeah, our region is uh, renowned for their skiing areas and their I like riding biking bikes. trails and all. I like skiing, yeah. How's the food? <laughs> How's the food in Austria? What will I be eating? Very savory. Like you will drown in cheese. Mm. Okay. So, wow. That's okay. Mm -hmm. that's, like the Midwest. Uh, that's the nicest thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you're, you're going to Austria for yeah. some cheese I could curds. Just, I could just go to Wisconsin. <laughs> they, I can ride a bike there no, and no, drown no. in cheese. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not the same. Okay. Well, did you have a question for me, Katarina, lead singer of Cringe Blizzard and disappointed <laughs> and fan who never got her t-shirt? Do you have a question? 
What was that other name you just said? Uh, the Artifice. It's uh, the other band I play in. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, wow, you're getting as many plugs in as possible. <laughs> oh, I have to. Yeah. Do you have a line of jewelry you'd like to talk about? Do you, uh, do you have a question for me? Yeah, I do. Um... Um, <laughs> are you sure? I, do, I just, it's just, I'm having a hard time to, make, to formulate a sentence that makes sense. Um, Man, this interaction with know, me really I mean, means a lot to you, doesn't it? <laughs> you just spaced out and started thinking about lunch. I do know that you've also had like your fair share of like struggles uh, in your life mm -hmm. and, and in the career. You got this talk show when you were fairly young. You were just 30 years old, mm -hmm. didn't have a whole lot of experience. And I was wondering, what helped you to uh, stand up for yourself when you faced criticism, to go through, to stand by yourself and and still know the work I'm doing is great and I'm going to keep, keep going? That's a really good question. Uh, to be honest with you, there were many, many moments of true despair. <laughs> I cannot lie to you. Yeah. And... Um, now I want to drink while you're drinking. Uh, but um, I think a lot of us just push ahead because we we don't know what other option there is. And so I think ultimately for me, my desire to do this was stronger than other people's desire for me not to do it. And and, and mm -hmm. over time that that won out. But uh, it, it felt like it took a long time to get people to uh, catch on to my sense of humor and like it. So I'm very glad and I'm very lucky that I managed to get to keep doing it because there were times there when I thought this is gonna be over uh, and then um, I'll just have to do something else for a living. But I was very fortunate that it worked out. So I can't lie and say, oh, just believe in yourself and keep going because uh, sometimes it gets pretty dark but I'm talking mm. to the lead singer for Cringe Blizzard. So I think you would understand. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the big reward is getting to talk to people like you who are really cool and really smart. I cannot believe how well-educated you are. You're just, uh, seems like- a, I mean, <laughs> No, isn't it? It's incredible. You're, you've had this incredible education. You're doing this great work. I cannot you, believe how educated she you is. are. She is. She has, I think that's a compliment. I know, I know. You've just... got like a PhD, I mean, <laughs> and do you think you could psychologically help me? Uh-oh. Many people think I have, <laughs> I know you treat adolescents. What's, what's there to fix? What's there to, to be fixed? Uh, You're perfect. Oh, 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 girl. Oh, 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 oh. All right, take it easy, everybody. I, I don't. I like. I. I think your guttural noises are better than mine. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You guys should start your own metal band. Um, well, Katarina, it was so cool talking to you. Uh, I like yeah, you. It was nice meeting you. Yeah, it was really nice meeting you. And um, best of luck with the band. And please give my Thanks. my best to your bandmates. Um, do you get them? Are they familiar with some of my work? Do you get them? Uh, have they watched any of the videos? <laughs> Um, I don't know actually. Do Good. you like me? Do you do you watch my videos? No, I'm like saying me? that for a reason. Well, will you tell them about? Me? I wanted her to say well, no. I mean, I mean, I, I don't I don't think that they are very familiar with your work. Um, I mean, my my brother might know a video or two because of me, but uh, our drummer probably doesn't know a whole lot except for the pompadour. Then I pity them. I have great pity for them. Me too, yeah. What terrible lives they lead. <laughs> well, really nice talking to you, Katarina. And, yeah, it was uh, great meeting you. Yeah, take care Incredible. and uh, have a drink and then get some sleep, okay? Yes, I will, sir. Thank you very much. How do you say uh, good night? Good night. Good night? Good night. Good night. Good night. Nice. Good night. Yeah. Good night, Katarina. <laughs>